Last week, I reviewed a couple of the fanciful temporary color mousses, and I said, when I get back home, I'll show you the liquid. So today, I'm going to show you the liquid. This color that I picked up, I got this over at CVS, and they only had one. So this color is Frivolous Fawn. It is for dark blonde, light brown hair. So I anticipate what I'm gonna get is sort of a, a, a mousy blondish brownish, not the best color in the world. Um, I'm getting ready for an audition and they asked me to come in a wig. I'm gonna wear my dark brown wig. If I were selecting this to wear with that wig, I would actually go with a color called Chocolate Kiss. It's a much more saturated brown. But I figured it was a good chance, a good time, since I was gonna be throwing something on my hair to uh, throw this on my hair and show you what it looks like. It's uh, one of the ways you can cover gray, temporarily, you know, for an evening or whatever. Let's get to it. Loves. This is going to be god awful messy. It was messy enough when I was using, yikes. It was messy enough when I was using the, I'm gonna get some baby powder and put that on my hands. I thought the mousse was plenty messy with getting it all over my uh, face, if you remember that video. So that's why I don't have any makeup on, so and bad lighting because my little teeny tiny bathroom, my lights aren't gonna fit in here. Okay, we're gonna shake it up. I am using a mixing bowl and a brush. I will also probably be applying it directly from the bottle, but right around the hairline, it does get really drippy. You're supposed to do this on washed hair, but I know how liquidy this is, so I just didn't even bother washing my hair this morning. And here we go. Yeah, the problem I always have with the liquid is it is just so darn drippy. It just starts running everywhere. And that's why the mousse formulation is much easier to work with because you don't get so much drip. But I noticed that I like the texture of my hair better with the liquid than I do with the mousse. So it's sort of a trade-off, you know, you're going to get... One is going to be better one way, one is going to be better the other way. Uh, neither of them smells all that great. I uh, really don't care for the smell of this stuff. I would love to see them change that part of the formulation, if at all possible. So you can see I started at the hairline and got it saturated at the root and then gradually pushed it back so that it was getting absorbed more and more on the ends and then I finally poured it through the whole remainder of the hair and combed it through. That helps mitigate some of the drippy factor. You definitely want to throw a towel down on the floor. There is a lot of drip involved when you're applying this. Um, you could go over a sink, but difficult to do that when you're shooting a video, you know? Blow drying takes a long time. That hair is really saturated, really wet, so be patient. Finished blow drying. It took me a long time, just as long as it did with the mousse. But I have to say, I kind of like the way my hair feels a little bit better with the liquid over the way my hair feels with the mousse. Now the mousse is super. It's got all the cover doors open. The mousse is super convenient and easy to use, whereas the liquid is a little bit more difficult. I found that the volume, uh, the, the texture of my hair felt a little more, uh, I don't even know what the word is. It felt like it had a lot more product in it when I used the mousse versus the liquid. This is the Frivolous Spawn, and I think we got a pretty soft blondish brown. It's uh, not really the color that I need for the wig that I'm about to put on for this audition, so I'm not gonna bother sharing that with you, but I was inspired to drag out my box of hair, 
which sounds a lot more exciting than it really is. It's all these random hair pieces and extensions and stuff that I really should throw away, but I just keep hauling it around for decades. Uh, but I hold that out and I might be playing with some stuff this weekend and we'll try a few things out and, uh, well, you know me, I will probably share them with you, even if I look like a complete dork. So this is what we've got today. I was inspired to possibly go out and get a new wig as soon as I have the budget for one and uh, play with some of these softer blondish brown tones, uh, kind of, kind of a different look. Hope you enjoyed this. This is the Rue Fanciful in the liquid form. And I will say, using, yeah, because I've got everything all wet in the sink here, using a tint bowl and a brush made such a difference in the mess and the cleanup right around the hairline. So definitely, whether you're using the liquid formula or the mousse formula, use a tint brush and a bowl. It will just make your life a lot neater. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Please subscribe and eventually you'll see me with makeup again and not in my little teeny tiny bathroom. You have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.